Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. It's a battle going on on all around us that is in the gray area. It's not all the way light and it's not all the way dark. The battle of the light versus the dark is done in the middle, in the gray area of the shadows. That's where all of the symbolism and all of the battles for the souls goes on. So in these things it is not just one side doing this. All of them are mixed in. You have to figure out the individual stories going on. Well, in this movie here called Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Ga'ul, this shows about the rapture coming. And it also shows about, like, Russia rising up. In here, the protagonist is named Metalbeak, right here. He is like the Nazis. He is an owl. <clears throat> because otherwise, people will start to think that the owls just mean the Freemasons because of up at the Bohemian Grove. No, this shows owls on both sides fighting of the light versus the dark. This side right here is the good side, and then they were fighting against these right here. And this side here had a group of bats that represent like the Russians, like Vladimir Putin, like Vlad's name represents Dracula. Well, here are the Nazis and the Russians rising up, and these guys had to escape. They showed like a rapture in here. I just wanted to show this video to show that the same symbolism that is happening around the world as we're nearing for World War III is even shown in these different videos right here. So let's take a look at this and you will see that they're getting ready to fight the Antichrist figure. Metal Beak is going to reveal himself through here. He hides behind this mask, as you will. Just as in the Bible, it talks of the man of perdition and when he takes off his mask. So let's take a look at this trailer real quick. Legend tells of a band of noble guardians sworn to vanquish evil and to save our kingdom. But they remain lost in the mists of Gahul hidden to all but those who believe stop you're gonna give her day mess but this is my favorite part you have a soft head Soren, filled with stories and dreams there's nothing wrong with dreams my soldiers it is time to take the owl kingdoms are doing something terribly wrong. And you're gonna need to fly a long way to get to the Guardians. You mean they're real? Oh, they're real all right. What are we gonna do, Soren? We're gonna find the Guardians of Garhul. We've all come this far, each protecting the other. When you have flown as far as you can, you're halfway there. What did he say? We're halfway there. <laughs> there were some really scary beasts out that way. You can breathe now. <laughs> what are they really doing here? They've built an army. Powerful enough to take over all the Owl Kingdoms. Go tell the Guardians! On his way to finding the legend. He will become one. You too can be a great Guardian. Get them! An ambush! I bet you didn't count on this! Hold on! Come on, Soren. We're not finished yet, boy. Be a young owl with a taste for adventure arriving at the tree for the first time. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Kahul. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls who? Ha, that's right. Owls who? 
If I have to hear any more of his ridiculous owl jokes, <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, it's a very well-written movie, and they had to make this flight all the way across the to get to the tree, to the guardians. That represented the rapture, and I keep showing that you can't turn back. This was shown to us even in the news lately about that airplane that just disappeared. They think that that airplane from Malaysia turned around. We can't turn back. And now we have just had this incident over in New York where the bombing has happened with the natural gas has blown up these two buildings. And they have all of the symbolism of the next 911 event going on that actually represents the beginning of World War III. I show it how it's mapped out even in the hieroglyphs all around the world. All around the world. Here is the angel coming down with the key to open the bottomless pit. He goes through Obama and blows this large nuclear event down near these two domes, just like the two buildings that blew up. Right here. See these two domes? They're right by Camp Pendleton. This is a world-changing event. You can see the dog star, Sirius, which is a tool of God's, is reaching right over here with a wand, and this is when the electricity goes. The devil falls as lightning, and we are translated out as this event happens. And here is Russia rising up, just like in that movie. We have to fly across. See here? And we can't turn around. This is just like when Lot was taken out of Sodom and Gomorrah. You can't turn around. You can't even turn and look back. We have got to make this flight on faith because this is only for the wise virgins that have their oil. And then the bear, Russia, rises up right here with the Vatican in its mouth. That means the Vatican is with them, the mouth of a lion, and they're chasing down the rest of the other Christians. And in this movie, they made everybody stare at this like... They made them stare at the moon, and they got moon blinked. But this represents this right here. This man staring at this idol, representing the idol for the New World Order. It's all about idol worship, idol worship during that time of the New World Order. But all of that is right there. Here is another one from the Dendera chart. It shows Jesus right here, casting down the accuser, and this woman, representing the spirit of the woman that will give birth to us into our new immortal bodies, represents his foot all the way down the earth. And when his heel is bruised, and the serpent's head is bruised, and here goes the arrow, the phoenix, the same day Obama is revealed, and we have to make it all the way across to the dog star to be able to get into heaven. And then everybody else has to go to these guillotines. This was shown even on that plane that just crashed. See, here we have the, just like when the two witnesses would die, this is the first woe of the Bible coming. Everybody has come up with who they think the two witnesses are. Well, whatever it is, they show that it's time for the two witnesses to go, right here. And even the 22 can represent a date as they keep showing. 3-22, March 22nd. The Freemasons and the Skull and Bone Society have a number called 322 on their symbolism all the time. Right here for the two dead witnesses. This could be anybody or anything, even countries or meaning the word of God at that point in time. Tragedy of the worst kind, but this is right in front of us all day long. This is the flight that just disappeared the other day, MH307, which could represent to the 21st. We don't know about dates, we're just researching. But on the back of the plane, it has the symbolism of the trident, as everybody sees. One of the things I've been showing for a long time is that on this side, see how this side of the emblem going this way represents a rapture. And then in the back, the trident makes an E, E. For everyone else. That's what they've shown this as for a long time. You have the rapture going, and then you have the EE -E for everyone else, which when you turn the E's around can make 33. You have to realize we're dealing in a shadow realms here with 
you know, very powerful entities. They don't see things as humans. They turn these things around and upside down, and that's what they mean. E, E, for everyone else, when you turn the E around, will look like a 3, 33. So here we have the phoenix leaving, and they think this plane turned around. We can't turn around. Everybody remember that. When it's time to go, we just go. So it's all being shown to us all around. The two buildings, just like the two domes that just blew up in New York. We even had the five alarm fire in San Francisco at the same time as this. And it's all right in front of us. Here is a third glyph, a Mayan tablet. And it shows right here is the Bible, the little horn rising up. And up here, it shows the phoenix rising over these two domes. And then you can actually see the wheel of the Great Tribulation going, right here. All right in front of us. There's the phoenix again, rising. Perfect. And the little horn of the Bible rising up. Thank you very much, everybody. It's right in front of us all day long. And it was shown right here in this movie, perfectly. The rapture, and then the Nazis rising up with the bats, just like with Russia, Vladimir. Putin sounding just like Dracula and this guy being revealed as the Antichrist if you will. Thank you very much everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah.